we want to welcome for a small chat uh, our guest, Tori Amos, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you back to the show because it was great. We had you on the show about two years ago or something like that, and the show's become much better then. But it's partly for it's you being great. on it. Good. No, well, thank you. Now, uh, first, I want to go back to the very beginning. Now, you went. You, you were a child prodigy pianist. And you went to um, a top music college when you were a child, a classical, uh, to teach you yeah. concert piano. Did that help you? No. <laughs> no, it didn't help me. What, did, was, it, was it a bit um, constricting for you? Well, I think what happens a lot is when, uh, when you play because you love it, and it's from this, you know the place that you eat pizza from, and mm -hmm. you crave pizza? Yeah. I mean, it's so real, like I'm craving it right now. Yeah, when it's that place that yeah. you play your music from. And of course, um, uh, it probably uh, stops you from writing your own things because you're forced to sort of study other people's things. I mean, you then went on and you played, um, uh, you sang in bars and you made a rock album in the 80s. What was the, s the moment that you decided, no, I'm going to do my own thing? When my record bombed. When I, when I was in the toilet. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm this girl that plays the piano. I tried to be Lita Ford in leather pants, and it was just not impressive to anybody. So I came back to what I do, and I said, if I'm going to be a girl at the piano, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to try and make it interesting. Mm. Now, you, you, I believe Judy Garland was a... Was she, were you Absolutely. A, she was a big fan. I'm pleased to say we've managed to find some footage oh, of her, especially you? for you today. We've got her, I think she's singing in front of some troops in 1943, so especially for you, where, here where it is. is like about Judy Garland? She sang to millions and millions of people and I always felt like she was singing just for me. Mm. It wasn't about ego. It was about singing to some little person in this house and uh, you wanted to get out of your house so bad and she made you think you could. Mm. Oh, lovely. And uh, you, your new album is called Boys for Pele. Yes. And where does that title come from? Uh, well, Pele's the volcano goddess, and I thought of like um, sacrificing some of the boys in my life to her, but then I decided that that wasn't really a very good idea. And uh, the album is sort of about the way I've stolen fire from the men in my life. And I got tired of doing that, because I have my own. But I couldn't see that for a very mm. long time. And um, now I can respect them without needing to suck their blood. That's very good. I'm very pleased that you've done that, for one. Um, in fact, we all are. And we're looking forward to hearing you uh, uh, a lot later on. And um, all I can say is, Tori, must thank you very much indeed. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he's got a lot of songs from her new LP, Boys for Pele. Please welcome Tori Amos, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
play with an orange right You, I see you packed my things up Divided what was mine You're up to the mountain top I say I scared you could you serve? But now I'm wishing for my best impression of my best Angie Dickerson. But now I've got to worry, cause boy, you still look pretty when you're put. Sing a damn